the third of four women's quarterfinal matches. And this will pick with Julie Berger of Germany against Sochi Hyun of Korea. This is a good look at Christina Berger, who will be facing Sochi Hyun for the second time in her career. Christina ranked fifth in the world, 25 years old. She was ninth at Shanghai. In fact, she lost to Sochi Hyun during the qualifying sessions last May in Shanghai. Did pick up a pair of bronze medals, one in Ontario, one in Portswap. Did not compete in Medellin, Colombia. So the 25-year-old German will be facing Sok Ji Hyun of Korea. This Sok, 23 years old, ranked fourth in the world. And this is her first World Cup final appearance as well. She won a gold medal in China, defeating Erica Jones of the United States in individual competition. Also picked up a team gold and a mixed team silver medal as well. Won another silver medal at Antalya, losing to Sarah Lopez in the finals. Didn't compete in Medellin, but was in Poland, finishing ninth at Wrocław. Picked up a bronze team medal there and solidified her spot here at the World Cup final in Paris. Sok Ji Yun of Korea, fourth in the world, taking on number five, Christina Berger of Germany, who has a draw length of 31 and a half inches. Yeah, Rio, our guys always are jealous of her draw length. This will be shooting first on target number two. A great athlete. And there's a good look at Sok Ji Hyun of Korea. Who, by the way, defeated Albina Loganova in the uh, Shanghai semifinals this year. And nine will start it off with Sok Ji Hyun. These two archers meeting only once before, as we mentioned. It was last May in Shanghai. And Christina Berger has revenge. In her mind, she starts off strong with a bullseye. No, nine. And another nine. These ten. Another yeah. ten for Christina Berger. shaky Mel yeah she bobbled a little bit holding too long there's that fine line isn't there yeah he just a little bit on it Wait, eight. oh but Christina Berger bails her out she could have gone up by as many as four points instead she settles for a two-point lead yeah that was a surprise Christina's been shooting good the second half of the year this year so 28 points for Christina Berger of Germany, a two point lead 26 points for Sok Ji Yun of Korea, who starts off a little bit slowly but is fully capable of coming back in this match with four ends and 12 arrows still left to go. Taking on Christina Berger, who's making her second World Cup final appearance. In a previous life, she was a national champion pistol shooter, but made the switch two years ago. I asked her about that yesterday, Mel, and she said, you know what, I just got bored. Yeah, she got bored hitting the X every time with her gun. So. <laughs> she said it was indoors, the weather wasn't a factor. I want her to be outdoors. I find this more interesting. Yeah, I kind of like see her go back to rifle <laughs> pistol. This is a great marksman. Either way you look at it. Sok Ji Hyun dials it in. Needed to get that first end out of her system. Yeah, those nerves. Nine. And a nine for Christina, which means that lead is down to one now. 37-36 in favor of Christina Berger. Who can pick up another point with a bullseye right here. But instead, it's on the line. That's a nine. The lead remains at one.
the nine. Just inside the line for a nine. So a score of 28 in that end. And the best that Christina Berger can hope to do is come up with the bullseye right here. Nine. Instead comes up with a nine and the lead is down to one. 55-54. Game on. Yeah, it's another good match. They're all gonna be good today. Monsieur if you're just joining us, Albina Loganova defeated Pascal Lebec by two points. points Alejandra Usquiano defeated her teammate Sarah Monsieur Lopez Liga moments Adriano ago in a shootoff. Winning the shootoff 10-9. And here, Christina Berger jumps out to a two-point lead after the first end. That lead cut down to one after the first six arrows. Nine arrows left to shoot. As you take a good look at Sok Ji Hyun, who won stage one in China, and then told everybody, I want to show the world I'm not a one hit wonder. I think she proved that. Oh, yeah. Their program has come such a long way for their compounders that they're, they're going to be there. They really made a statement as a nation because they had not really made the attempt in compound as they had in recurve in the past, but they've made a concerted effort to be a real player in the compound competition. Oh, yeah, they're all living and training together now. So, so there you see the scores 55 54. Christina Berger of Germany with the one point lead, which means Sok Ji Hyun of Korea will shoot first on target number two and comes up with a 10. Shows she is definitely getting better as the match goes on. Christina with a 10 as well, just on the line. Just biting that line, it appears. He's dead. Inside the line, yeah. Nine, no. And that's just outside the line, so we are now tied at 74. Oh, this is good. Last. With La Torre fell in the background. No. nine. There's a nine. And a nine for Christina. So the plot doth thicken as we're tied at 83. That two point lead is gone now. And it's anybody's match with six arrows to go at this point, Mel. Yeah, we're going to see who wants it the most right now. The next six arrows. Is the key being able to relax in this situation? Yeah, they need to calm down because they're. Their adrenaline is really rushing up, and hopefully that's what their coaches are talking about. You hear the coaches talking a lot right now, so hopefully they're trying to calm them down and get them as relaxed as they can get in this situation. A lot on the mind of Christina Berger of Germany, who last year almost was able to win in her very first appearance at a World Cup stage. That was in Antalya, Turkey. Came out and competed very well against Albina Loganova. Two weeks after Antalya, she dominated the European Championships in Amsterdam, leading the German team to the European title. And Christina Berger has broken two world records already in her brief career. So she's definitely made her presence felt. Yeah, she's making a name for herself in this compound. Circuit here. Are you surprised somebody can come out and do it that quickly, make the transition from one sport to another and do it that well? You know, she was such an elite shooter that, you know, once she got the basics down and learned the form, her mind was always there. I, she was going to be good no matter what. And a lot of the things that she probably used in pistol shooting also translated over to archery. It probably helped her out more. So there you see the scoreboard, there you see the setting. What a backdrop, the Eiffel Tower. 2013 World Cup final. And no, Suk Ji Yun with a nine to start off the fourth end. He was tied at 83 all at the start of this no, end and nine. it's still tied after another nine. So back to Suk Ji Hyun who shot recurve till she was 19, but realized compound was her best bet to join the national team. And right now, big shot right there. 
Matched by Christina Berger. There you see the target face. We are still tied. Nine. Door opens just a bit for Christina Berger. As Ms. Sok gets it nice, and there's another 10 for Christina Berger. But I believe that's taken a one point lead. Christina Berger over Ms. Sok from Korea. So it's still on the future, Mesdames et Messieurs, l'avantage d'un point. And there is the target face for Christina Berger. You can see the arrows inside that center ring. And she may look cool, calm, and composed on the outside, but there's a lot going on inside, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Her mind's going 100 miles an hour right now. And I'm sure the same is true for Sok Ji Hyun of Korea, who trains up to 10 hours a day. Scores are official. Christina Berger leading one point. And Christina Berger is up by one. None of the judges have had a closer inspection of those targets 50 meters away. And we're heading to the final three arrows right now with Christina Berger up by one single point. It's been that way through the first two matches. Par for the course here in the third. A one-point advantage for Christina Berger. But a great start for Sok Ji Hyun. It's the shot she needed. He's and Berger with a bullseye. Trailing by one. He's ten. Another ten for Sok Ji Hyun. Pressure shifts back to Berger, nine. and nine means we're tied. So we're down to that one arrow shoot off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the unofficial shoot off. Peace, peace, bullseye. Peace. Ten, ten, ten. Another ten, bullseye. Ten. ten, ten, ten. Three across the board. And now it's up to Christina Berger. But she shoots a 10-2. Wow. What shooting. Oh, this is some great shooting today. Under the circumstances, in this setting, with this kind of pressure, incredible shooting by both of these archers. And we are going to another one-arrow shoot-off. That was basically a shoot-off right there, Mel. Oh, yeah. And they're going to do it again. And this shows some what? Great, great archers we have here today. You know, we're on our second shoot-off in three matches. So it is tied at 141. After the first five ends, the first 15 arrows, and now we go to the one-arrow shoot-off. And it basically comes down to the same situation we saw, saw just a moment ago between Alejandra Usquiano and Sara Lopez. It's closest to the center. They can both shoot a bullseye, but it's whoever is closest to that spider who comes away with a victory. Yeah, it'll be nice to see the judges have the measure. <laughs> Great form by Sok Ji Hyun. Only 23 years old, Christina Berger, 25 years old. These two should have quite a future ahead of them in the sport. A long and prosperous Ladies future. And gentlemen, right after the calibration of the lasers is so complete, right now, we will commence with our second It comes down to one arrow to decide this match. Our second shoot off in the first three matches of the day. Ms. Sook will be shooting first on target number two. Sook, so Sook Ji Hyun of Korea. Given the green light. Straddles the shooting line and draws it back. Just outside the nine ring. All Christina Berger needs to do is put this in the center ring and she advances. 
Easier said than done. Nine, it's at nine. And Song Ji Hyun is closest to the center. And so when the pressure was really on, Song Ji Hyun was able to come through. It wasn't her best shot of the match, Mel, but it was good enough. Yeah, it was just good enough. I mean, she's moving on, so that's all she really wanted. And we have seen that on so many occasions when you get to this point. Archers who've been shooting bullseyes, all of a sudden now you get to a shoot off. It's a whole different type of situation in the pressure. I'm not sure you can understand that unless you've been there yourself. Yeah, your body changes a lot. Even inside it changes a lot because you're just, your adrenaline is going twice as fast as it was. So Song Ji Hyun of Korea advancing as she wins the shoot off. And again, it's a come from behind story. She was down by two points after the first end, got off to a slow start, tied it up in the third end at 83 all, then it was tied at the end of regulation, the first 15 arrows at 141. She went first, shot a nine, a little bit high of the 10 ring, and that left the door open for Christina Berger, but she was not able to capitalize as she shot a nine herself, very low. And without any doubt, further away from the center of the target, and a disappointing finish for Christina Berger, but a great match between these two archers from Germany and Korea. And now Sokji Hyun advances and will wait to find out who she faces next.